Mike Stish here. I'm working on a light programmer. So I have a uh, AT Mega 168 right here, and it is reading this light dependent resistor, photo resistor right here. Um, and I have a voltage divider as a resistance, or I'm sorry, as a reference voltage right here. Um, I wrote this little JavaScript application that runs off a web page, and so I can type in a message. And um, it, what it's going to do when I hit program is it's going to flash the background um, black and white in order to push in a message. And you can see right here um, I have some debug information. It, I, it got hello and then it lost its sync. Um, that T is the bit frame area and the 462 is the count at which it's, it lost its sync. I'm going to see if I can get this to do anything um, on camera. I find I've got about 60 or 70 percent error right now, which is not entirely good, but uh, let's see if I can show it off at all. Just go ahead and reset it. And push the data through. I got pretty lucky that time because it seems like everything came through, um, but I can almost guarantee that if I try it a second time, I, I'll, I'll have a, a lost sync in there. I think I'm missing edges. I'm not sure. It could be that the timing with the JavaScript is just not reliable, or you know, I'm just not really sure yet. Um, but I'll keep working on it. I have a few other ideas. There's another um, type of Manchester encoding that uses sampling rather than ed edge detection. And I might uh, try that sampling out and see how it goes. I'm doing pretty well here. So I got two messages in a row to come through. That is really the exception. Usually I, I would have four or five in a row that won't. So what can I say? More on this later. Uh, if you want to read about it, go to jumptuck.com.